Hi, this is MC Jetty and in this video I'm going to show you the new features in the latest version of InControl for 1.20.1. So there are a few new things. Um, first, there's a new areas.json where you can define areas in your world. This is mostly useful for server owners who want to set up, for example, a safe area. So this is an example around 0.60 zero with this size we have a box you can also use sphere and it's named spawn and in that area in spawn purchasing we use that area to deny all hostile mobs so if hostile is true and we are in the area spawn we deny the joining of all hostile mobs but you can do other things with this, of course. You can also have multiple areas. So that's the new, the first new feature. So let's actually show that in action. So first of all, we are in spawn here. So using the slash in control area command, you can control that. And let's um, take a zombie spawn egg. Because I'm using when on join, you can actually use. Yeah, weird. It actually plays the sound. Didn't expect that. So let's go outside the area. Not in any area. And here you can spawn them. So this system can be used to generate safe area. There are also new comments to set a face and clear a face um, so that's also new in case you want more control and it's also possible I want to show you that um, for example at this moment there are no faces active but let's actually in spawn to Jason as soon as soon as a wither is spawned, we set the face wither. And what we also do in spawner to chasten, as soon in face wither, we start spawning wither skeletons randomly. So let's test that out. Let's go outside the safe zone. Let's spawn the wither. Uh, am I still, I'm not in an area here. Hold on. Yeah, difficulty normal. Uh, that's weird. Why is this not working? Let's put it a bit further away. Ah, this one works. And now you... I guess I was just a bit too close. Current face is wither. So now... When the wither is active... Um, you may have to wait a bit. Let's follow him. Yeah, the weather is doing all kinds of bad stuff. Um, that's actually per second. So you can, of course, reload. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, no, that's a zombie. Uh, we can't see it now. Let's see. It worked. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. So you have to be patient a bit. But now, because the wither has spawned, we actually made the world less safe and the resistant. So that's done with the new set face command, uh, which you can use 
here and you can also use it in the other events like break and place and so on and harvest the big new thing however in this uh, thing is this one hold on let me first clear face let's remove that let's go back to peaceful Not in any area. Okay, so events system is completely new. There are two types of events. One when a mob is killed and two when a block is broken. So in this case, when we kill a cow by a player in the overworld with a chance of 30%, there's a chance that we spawn a number of chickens. Let's try it out. Okay. Actually, I need these two. Yeah. Yeah, once the chicken spawned in the thing, but you see it works. So you can. Now nothing's bound. Let's try another time. Nothing. I think. Yeah, there are a few chickens. So that's a new feature. You can control this. Also, mob spawn this way also go through spawner uh, to spawn.json. And for example, you could. Um, hold on. How did I call it? event spawn so you can do things in here depending on the mob spawn that way so that's something you can do another thing that i do this block uh, on block broken when a diamond ore is broken with 30 percent chance we spawn a wither skeleton let's try that there is our diamond Oh yeah, it even works in creative. See, so making the world a lot more dangerous this way. In the future there might be more events, but uh, these are the two that are currently implemented. I'm also always open to suggestions. So, this is it. These are the new features, I think. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.